and welcome to uh, back to the channel. Now, our last video to you was a machine-based workout, and today, what do we have? Another machine-based workout. This is the second one that we um, are going to design for you, um, so that you can follow when you come in and about the gym. And it will work in tandem with the other one we did. So if you've done the other one a couple of times, and that's great, then you can slide this one into your programming, and maybe do them, what, twice a week each? Yeah. yeah. That'd be great. Perfect. What's up first? Pull-ups. Excellent. Fun. Let's let's go. So the first exercise we've got for you is pull-ups, which are just here. This is the pull-up machine, and we'd like you to do what's called machine-assisted pull-ups. Now, Jasmine pointed out that when you're setting this machine up, one thing that's very, very important is that down here, as you can see on the stack, the heavier you make the stack, the easier the exercise is. It works on a counterbalance system. So to get onto the machine, you've got to be nice and careful. You have to jump onto, uh, put your knees onto the knee pad just here. And you're going to take a nice wide grip. So as you can see here, <laughs> Jasmine's got the wide grip set up. Did you have it too heavy, Jasmine? Yeah. There we go. Um, so we're going to go on the outside grip on this machine for me here rather than the inside grip. You can do that, but that makes it more of a chin up. And we're trying to target the back a little bit more, which would be a wide grip pull up. Then, as you do the pull up, so as you can see, um, Jasmine's come down. She's got right out of her scapulas here, right out of her shoulder blades. And now I'm gonna ask her to send the elbows out as wide as possible, like angel wings. And she's gonna pull up till her chin comes all the way up to her hands again. Like so, good. Making sure she's squeezing the glutes, and one of the other key, very important things about this is that you uh, think about pulling the bar down to you rather than pulling yourself up to your hands. And that will really help you as you do the pull-up. Let's just watch a few reps from the side. You can see what kind of height she gets. Lovely work, Jazz. Good. And that's the machine-assisted pull-up. Anything to add, Jasmine? No, you're set? All. all good. Brilliant. Great. And we're going to ask you to do four sets of 10, ten reps on that. And that will go really, really well for you. Excellent. What's next? Deadlifts on a machine. Machine based deadlift. <laughs> so, next up, we've got the machine based deadlift. Now, this is quite a heavy machine, so be careful when you're using it to begin with. But that's not a bad thing because deadlifts. We want them to be quite heavy for you anyway. Uh, this machine is just opposite the, the kind of squat racks and the cages that we've got facing the mirrors in the gym. And it's pretty straightforward as an exercise. Now, the deadlift is really useful um, for your posterior chain, which is all the muscles. Turn around for me, Jazz. Which is all the muscles that kind of go the calf, the glutes, and then what we come into what's called the erector spinae, which supports the spine as you go up the back. That's, um, and that's why we like deadlifts. Thanks, Jazz. Now, to set yourself up on this, to begin with, I genuinely don't think you're gonna need any weight. You might surprise yourself, but let's just start with the machine to begin with. Um, and you're going to do what's called a hip hinge, which is a sideways uh, movement where you bend at the hips. So the important thing here, sorry, Jazz, could you just do that again for me? There you go, that's the hip hinge. So with that, what Jasmine's doing is she's sending her hips back as far as possible. She's not just thinking about going down to the floor. Stand up for me. So it's all about sending the hips all the way back on this line here. And then the knees will follow in a slight bending position just here. But you can see she's not in a squat position as she's doing this. Now all she's going to do is keep her chin down. Lovely, as if she's got a shot glass between her chin and her neck and then she's gonna push through the floor as hard as she can in order to stand up and to lift the machine like so. Great, give us a couple more reps, mate. Excellent. And that's the machine-based deadlift. Now you'll see that her spine is in a neutral position. We're not flexing the spine. Can you show us a flex spine as you're doing that, please? You see, we want to try and avoid the bent spine as much as possible. That's it, cool. Um, just because if you do it with a flex spine, it can cause um, lower back issues, which obviously we want to avoid as much as possible for you. Um, anything else to add? 
Just when you come down to here, before you lift up, you want to try and create tension in your arms so they're locked. And then you also want to make sure your back is turned on to help your spine stay straight. Perfect, good. And then at the top, you want to make sure you finish the movement. So you push your hips right through so you stand up nice and straight. You don't want to just turn to the side for me. And Jazz, if you could just overdo that action for me. You don't want to end up like that. You don't want to end up with your shoulders um, right behind your hips. You just want to end up with everything in a nice neutral alignment from the floor all the way up to your shoulders. And that will be the machine-based deadlift. And again, how many sets and reps are they doing? Four times 10. Next up, we're down by the cables, which is right next to the reception. And we're going to do what's called a cable chest press. Now, the setup of this is quite important, as we've just discovered as we've set out for Jasmine. So we have these cables here, these parts. And what they do is if you pull this out here, then it will change the height of it. Now, for this exercise, you want to make sure that the, um, the cables are kind of set in line with your nipples is roughly where you want. A little low, yeah, like the handles. So where this part of the handle is, where the, the two wheels meet on the rope. That's what you want in line with your nipples because that's the line of force that you're going to be doing the exercise with. Then you're going to take a handle on each side. Let me come this side because I think I'm in a bit in the way. Good. That's it. Once you've got them here, take a big step forward and have one foot. Let me just show you the foot position. You're going to have one foot in front of the other and all of your weight on that front foot, just like Jasmine's doing so very well. And then what you're going to do, you're going to squeeze your chest together and push the hands out in front of you, like so and back good good job jasmine now remember when we spoke about doing the machine chest press on the other um on the other workout that we did for you we asked you to make sure that you kept a nice arrow position between your elbows and your shoulders it's a bit harder on the cable so if you can just bring the elbows down a little bit jasmine that's it and go from there good and how's that feel Do you feel that a bit more in the chest Definitely. good and that's what that's sort of the position you need to end up in good Lovely. Now the other thing you'll notice as well is, I'm just going to take you to the side because I want you to see what position you bring the arms back to. Because with the cables, it's quite easy to end up kind of overextending the shoulders. So Jazz, if you could just show us that side angle. <clears throat> Good. So she's coming forward there, just to there. So you just want the elbows past the line of the spine. That's it. And then you're going to push away from there. And that's that. Again, select the weight that is appropriate for you. Experiment with that and make sure that you're safe to begin with. There's nothing worse than setting this up a bit too heavy and the cable pulling you back and your shoulder getting into a nasty position. Nobody, nobody wants that for you. So just make sure you play around with the weights to begin with, build up slowly and build your confidence over time and you'll be able to nail that. How many sets and reps are they doing on this? Three times 10. Three sets, 10 reps. Awesome. Have fun and enjoy. So next up, we're going to show you what's known as a cable face pull. Now, you'll see that we've come to the cables that are in the middle of the gym. You can also do this on the cables. We just did the machine chest press, but just for the use of the camera, we're using these ones here today. Uh, you want to get a rope extension, which is one of these things, with the two plastic knobbly bits at the end. And you're going to attach that to the cable. And again, we're on a machine. So what does that mean, Jasmine? We're going to check our resistance and make sure it's right for us. Excellent. Now the cable face pull works the upper back, the rhomboids, the deltoids, and all the way up here. So you're gonna grab in an overhand grip the ropes, and then you're gonna take a step back, lovely. And then you're gonna send your elbows high and wide, and you're gonna pull this part, the kind of attachment part of the cable, right in towards your nose. Lovely, and forward, good. Very nice, Jasmine. Make sure you push that chest forward as you come through. That's it. And you're just going to drive the arms out nice and wide. Now, sometimes what you get with people who are doing this, just relax there, mate. Good. What you'll get with people who are doing this is they start curling the, um, the just stand clear for me a sec. They'll start curling it in a little bit. Like they'll kind of come to here and they'll either drive their elbows down and sort of do a bicep curl mix of things. Or what they'll do is they'll come here and they won't have it high enough and, and the shoulder will either internally rotate too much or externally rotate too much. We don't want either of those things. We just want to be here, elbows high and wide, and just pull it straight in to the nose nicely. Now, oops, that's a bit loud. Uh, Jasmine was doing it with her feet um, parallel, which is absolutely fine. But come back in for me, Jasmine. 
The foot position I prefer for this is if you just put one in front of the other, lovely, that's it, and then turn that back foot out for me. No, out, that's in, lovely, and then put your weight evenly on both feet. That's it, good. I prefer that sort of foot position. Uh, yeah, I prefer that kind of foot position for it because um, I think it creates a better balance of weight. And especially because you're pulling backwards, then you want to make sure you're stable backwards as well. Whereas if you're parallel, you might over pull it if you've got a heavy weight and then you might take, have to take a step back as you're doing it, which we'd like to avoid. You got anything to add, matey? No. How many sets, how many reps? Four times, no, three times 10. Three times 10? Oh, let me come over here. Right, next up, we're going to ask you to do something called reverse extensions. Is that what they're called, reverse extensions? I call it hyper extensions. Hyper extensions. I don't like the word hyper when it comes to the gym because it makes us all worry that we're going to like hyper extend something or something like that. Uh, extensions, hip extensions, hyper extensions, whatever you call it. Again, I'm feeding on from the machine deadlift that we showed you earlier. We're working on that posterior chain, but this focuses a little bit more on the gluteus maximus muscles, which are, Jasmine, your gluteus maximus muscles? Ah, oh, our buttocks. Our buttocks. Excellent. Good. That was PT I thought that what? was a trick question. I'm like, <laughs> um... <laughs> Perfect. So um, this machine can look quite scary, but just take your time with it. Make sure everything's locked in so this bit moves. So make sure it's locked in before you do it because you're going to give your weight into the machine and you're going to be coming down head first. Okay? So set yourself up. Grab the handles first as Jazz is so brilliantly demonstrating. Then put your feet on the plate behind you and then put your hips onto the rollers here. Then all you're going to do without bending the spine, you, only, you want to create the, the downward motion from the hips, not from the middle of the spine. Just let the spine go and bend. You're similar to the machine deadlift where I was saying, let's not work with a flex spine. We obviously don't want to work with a flex spine when we're doing this either. So you want to keep the spine nice and neutral. And that comes from good gluteal control and good um, posterior chain control. And then you're going to come down like that as all the blood rushed to your head, yeah? Yep, a little bit. Excellent, good. And then you're going to extend yourself up by squeezing your bum up like so, and then you're going to come back down. Good. The motion itself is quite simple, but it's also, that doesn't mean that it's easy. Make sure your feet are well planted as you do it. And you're just coming down like so and coming up. And as you get better at it, you'll be able to increase that range of motion as you go. Anything to add, Jasmine? No, just make sure you squeeze your glutes at the top and just make sure you keep your core on as well. Core. So make sure you're breathing as you do the exercise as well. That's always a very important note. Excellent. How many sets and reps? Three times ten. To finish this workout off, we're going to do some arm work. Show us your guns, Jazz. What? I just hit my head. Did you? <laughs> yep. Always be safe in the gym. Show us your guns. Aww. Show us your guns. Have, well, guns, have you got tickets? Really. Have you got tickets? Welcome to the gun show. There we go. Um, <laughs> right. So we're going to do biceps oh. and triceps. All on the machine, so we don't need to go anywhere for this. Now for the bicep curl, I'll move back in a minute so Jasmine comes in focus. You're going to set up with your feet nice and parallel, fairly close to the machine. And again, we're working on a machine to make sure that the weight you're using is appropriate for you. Now, uh, as you can see, she's got a slight backward lean, not too much of one, so that's okay. Now, the key to this is making sure the elbows do not move, okay? And all you're going to do is pull your hands up towards your shoulders, trying to make the elbows move as little as possible, and that will help isolate your biceps. Lovely. Very well demonstrated, Jasmine. Now, can you do it with the uh, biceps moving a little bit? There you go. You can see there, you're starting to use a bit too much momentum and a bit too much of a swing. And as the biceps move forward, you're actually closing that range of motion, which means that the exercise isn't going to be as efficient for you as we would prefer. So by keeping them nice and still, I always say think about pinning them into your hips, and therefore they're not going to move too much as you do it. And you can see we're using a straight bar for this. Um, you can use other kinds of bar, but I find the straight bar just the best for the stricter form on the cable bicep curl. And then we've already got the rope attachment from the face pulls on the cables. So we're going to go into a tricep pull down. Now, the biceps and the triceps work synergistically. That basically means that when you move a bicep, the tricep extends, or when you contract the bicep, the um, tricep extends, and the reverse happens. So when you uh, contract the tricep, the bicep extends. The reason I'm telling you this 
is that basically the rules are almost exactly the same for the bicep and the tricep. So you're going to pull it in and you won't be able to pin it to your hips as much. It will be slightly higher up, but that's about where we want it. You can lean back in the hips a little bit if you want. So you have a flight, slight forward lean just to help you get a nice bigger extension and a range of motion through the tricep just here. Now, as you can see, Jasmine's doing a great job here. As she comes down, she's just separating the cable to the side of her body, which again, makes sure that we get the arm nice and straight. Without that slight separation, just do one about that slight separation, Jazz. You can see that the, the tricep isn't extended as much. Her elbow's not as straight, and therefore she's not getting as much activation through that muscle. Excellent, just do a few more. Lovely, good. Another good note for this is imagine you've got a pencil in your armpit and you can't let the pencil drop. Um, that's all, you could just grab a pen or pencil from us and we could try that. And that's a really good little note to help with the tricep cable push down. Anything to add? No, just make sure your shoulders are down, your chest is nice and tall and you're breathing through it all. Always breathe. And that is the, um, that's the second machine-based workout that we've got for you here at Inside Out. Uh, so like we said at the start of the video, you can, do this, um, you can do this on, say, a Thursday and do the other one on a Tuesday. Or if you wanted to come a little bit more and you wanted to build that confidence up and see how, how good you can go through these exercises, I'd say you could do like Monday, um, the first workout, Tuesday, the second workout, rest on the Wednesday, Thursday, first workout, Friday, second workout. Or you can run them around like that. Um, sometimes it's good to try and get a day's rest in between each each workout that you do, so you could do like one day on, one day off, one day on, one day off, but just keep rotating them and uh, see how you go with those. Anything to add? Um, with your biceps and triceps, it's three times 10 and it's a superset, so you want to do them close together, bicep, tricep together, and then have a bigger rest and then do that three times. It's a good job I invited her because I completely forgot to tell you that. Um, right, that's it. As always, if you have any questions for us regarding the workouts and machines, or anything that's good for your body. We're the two personal trainers here in the gym. Paige is the exercise physiologist, but we can all cover all bases. And so feel free to ask us if you see us and we'd love to help you out. Thanks for being here. Hopefully we'll get to speak to you again real soon. Peace, love and protein. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao.